Marina is my favorite. I mean, do you see the smile? Hi guys, I'm Rachel. If you're new or returning, welcome and welcome back. Today I am talking all about Arabian perfume. They are definitely having a moment and they are what all the hype. They are affordable, they smell amazing, they are accessible. Sometimes I think these Arabian brands don't last the goddamn nights because of the quality of products you are getting at the price points. But let's not jinx it and let's just hop right into the video. So everything will be linked in the description box along with all my other social media platforms. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell for all because I am trying to reach the masses here. First on the chopping block is Latafa B cameras. I have spoken about Latafa camera before, so I'm just going to do a comparison with both of them. So camera, the original, it's sweet from the dates and the praline, a little spicy from the nutmeg and the cinnamon, and has a creamy vanilla dry down. Camera Kawa, however, has an added coffee note and the dates were removed. So right off the bat, it's less sweet than camera. So Kawa still has some of the spiciness from that cinnamon and there's an added ginger note that gives it a little bit of a freshness. Um, I love ginger in fragrances as well. Now, I am personally not a lover of coffee notes in fragrances. It's a hit or miss for me, but it's very subtle in here and it's the perfect amount, the perfect blend, the perfect balance. I also find Kawa to be a little more vanillic and less sweet than camera. Overall, I love them both, but I have to say that Kawa is my favorite. I just find it to be a little more refined and a little more luxurious. Both performs extremely well. They're quite long lasting and I always receive compliments when I wear these. And look at the packaging. So you see what I mean when I say I think these brands lost their goddamn minds. I mean, just, just look at this. This is perfect. Again, Latafa, Camera, and Kawa. Now we have this viral perfume from TikTok, Kiss a Pink by Paris Connor. She's cute, she's playful, she's feminine, she's an easy read, she's a crowd pleaser. You get a juicy red apple, some coconut, some floral, some vanilla. Coconut again is another hit or miss note for me in perfume, but with this, I think they used the coconut water instead of the actual meat of the coconut. Then you get a little woodiness from the cedar wood in here and the mix of the sandalwood and the coconut gives it just enough creaminess. I would not consider this perfume to be an extremely creamy perfume, but it does have a creamy element to it. There's also a little powderiness in the dry down. It's just, this perfume is just beautiful. I cannot wait to wear this this spring and summer, and I'm already thinking about layering combos with this perfume. I think Eden Juicy Apple by Kiali will go well with this. Skylar's Boardwalk Delight and Sunkiss Dahlia, the Sunkiss Sunkiss Dahlia, because Sunkiss Dahlia has an apple note in it as well. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to layer this perfume. In terms of performance, it stays very close to the skin, and I get about five hours of wear. Again, Kiss of Pink by Paris Corner. Another viral um, TikTok perfume is Batik by Aroma Concepts. This perfume smells like a juicy watermelon Jolly Rancher in the opening. It's very candy-like and very sweet. And I thought I would not like this perfume because I don't really go for too much fruity perfumes, but I was wrong. You have to give this time because the dry down is where the magic happens. It gets a depth from that amber in the base and it becomes less candy-like and less sweet. And the musk note in here also helps in balancing the sweetness. So while it maintains this watermelon note, you are not smelling like a Jolly Rancher watermelon candy anymore. It gives a sort of like put together woman who's still full of life and full of fun. In terms of performance, it has a moderate projection and great longevity. I usually test my perfumes at night and when I woke up the next morning, this perfume was purring. I was just smelling it. So it has, it really has a good projection and good um, staying power. Another one I cannot wait to wear. Batik by Aroma Concepts. Next we have Shag of Oud Tonka by Swiss Arabian. And let me say there's no oud in here for those of you who are afraid of oud. No oud is present in this perfume. This is for the gourmand lovers that do not like very edible perfumes, which I am one. Gourmands has been another tricky category for me, um, but I'm starting to explore them more. And with perfumery being so innovative, it's just like I'm starting to love it even more. But I am not an edible gourmand kind of girl. I cannot deal with the two edible perfumes because they tend to turn like bug spray on my skin. Honestly. I know you must love almond to enjoy this perfume because it opens up with a very nice almond note and a hint of um, orange blossom. And then it dries down and turns into a warm, pleasant, sensual, delectable tonka. And you have this amber wood and 
vanilla that just rounds it out it's also not an overly sweet perfume and this perfume definitely gives a niche quality i grew up in the caribbean grenada to be specific and tonka trees were in our backyard and this is one of the most realistic tonka i think i've ever smelled we pick those things and grate it because it's a bean to put in like cakes and stuff so it's very popular around the christmas season this and i tell you is one of the most realistic tonka i've smelled in a while so someone described this as if you poured almond and tonka extract in a vanilla bean ice cream and diluted it with an unsweetened almond milk you would get this and they were so so right like, this is a spot on description for what old tonka is it's also very similar to bdk's velvet tonka if you've ever smelled that perfume and that perfume has been on my wish list for quite a while but i do not think i will be getting it anymore because this this just it satisfied me it hit the spot in terms of performance siage and projection i don't find it to be totally beast mode but it creates a really nice scent bubble around you and it's still quite long lasting food tonka by shava food okay, so now i have two perfumes from paris corner under the Taskin brand i have caramel cascade and marina but we'll start with the popular one first this is another one that went viral on tiktok it's caramel cascade and i was fortunate enough that the brand sent this over to me very blessed i appreciate it so let's talk about caramel now caramel cascade opens up very milky because there's a milk note in the top and that milk note reminds me of commodities milk if you've ever smelt it i feel like that's a similar milk note and the blend of the caramel the tonka the vanilla gives me like a toasty sort of roasted vibe it's like a roasted cocoa chocolate kind of vibes when the notes come together but there's no cocoa or chocolate in here it's just the blend of the caramel with the other notes also the sweetness in here from the honey with the caramel can be borderline cloying but the roasty toasty vibes that comes together that blends with the other notes balances off and prevents it from getting cloying so if you were expecting a real creamy milky sort of fragrance it is not that in my opinion i i find some people describe it as that but i do not get it to be a very creamy milky fragrance it's just like i said sort of like it is creamy it is sweet but it has this roasted vibe it reminds me of vanilla milk by ellis brooklyn if you ever smell that perfume. this is another intimate performer it's an intimate perfume it doesn't project a lot it stays close to the skin and i get about five hours of wear marina is my favorite i mean do you see the smile it is my favorite and i cannot wait to wear this perfume in spring and summer it's very citrus forward which is one of my favorite um notes for the summer if i'm not smelling citrusy i am smelling intoxicating i do not go for the aquatic solar note kind of scents again they do not um, come off well on my skin they literally smell raw like the sea um that's another explanation for another day but i do not gravitate towards fresh perfumes it's citrus and anything intoxicating like it's very bright and uplifting and you get some of that lily of the valley that gives it a tad bit of a greenness which i also like a little greenness in my perfumes but it's not overpowering it goes away and um the jasmine in here gives it just enough sweetness you also get some sweetness from the lily of the valley as well because the lily of the valley can have a slightly smell slightly like jasmine as well so the blend is perfect it smells very tropical and i mean like caribbean tropical and i mentioned earlier i'm a caribbean girl so it brings me back to the caribbean i mean just look at the color of the bottle it's giving bright and sunny so when i smell this perfume i picture it's hot outside but you are not hot your surrounding is hot and you are not hot because you are sitting underneath like a straw umbrella with your bikini and your cover up and all because you're not there to go to the beach. You're there just to enjoy the scenery around you, sipping a nice refreshing drink, enjoying the scenery. This is what this perfume gives me. It's very energizing and at the same time gives off a sort of calm, relaxing vibe. Again, it's not very sweet and it gives this tropical sunny vibe and it's also a great performer. Marina by Paris Corner. So I've spoken about choco must before i will link that video for you but she has she, she has company she has french coffee now this one is coffee and this one is chocolate it is a very similar pricing to choco must of 10 to 15 dollars very affordable very accessible and this one is for all my coffee lovers it smells like a cup of cappuccino it's a very realistic coffee scent and that's the only way i can think of describing this perfume again i said i am not a big coffee lover and because of that this one just has a little bit too much coffee in it for me but i can still appreciate a good scent it is a good scent and i feel like coffee lovers out there would definitely enjoy this perfume so i have to mention it 
I don't know, coffee notes are just so strange to me because I'm a coffee drinker. I love coffee, so I just don't understand how it just doesn't work for me in a lot of perfumes, but I love coffee. But I do have perfumes with coffee notes in it that I like, that I enjoy because the coffee is well blended, like for example, Kawa. Um, but this one just has a little bit too much coffee in it for me, but it is a beautiful scent. So for all my coffee lovers, definitely check this one out. And there you have it, Arabian perfumes for everyone. Again, everything will be in the description box to so check that out. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for all so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. And while you are here, check out some of these videos. Support your girl. Like I said, we're trying to reach the masses. <laughs> Bye.